everyone, it's Angela from the Chaotic Life of a Planner. In today's video, I'm going to be laying out the month of December in my Erin Condren Life Planner. It's the last month of 2019. I cannot believe it, but I'm sure that I am not alone. So I do have the binder version. This is the colorful layout. And for stickers, I'm going to be using this print and cut kit from Design Lovely Studios or Designs Lovely Studios. I can't remember which it is, but I will definitely be sure to link it down in the description box. So this is the monthly kit. You get all three of these pages, and I think it was like 250 or 260 or something like that. I feel like it's pretty inexpensive. Um, someone asked me today if I feel like I save money I'm printing and cutting my own stickers. And I'm not really sure about that. I tell you that it's extremely convenient to be able to print and cut my own stickers. Sometime I'm gonna go buy an ink cartridge and I'm going to just print nothing but stickers to see approximately how many sheets that I can get out of each ink cartridge. Then I'll be able to more accurately figure out how much like I'm actually paying for these stickers but I can tell you that it's definitely convenient for times when I don't order them. The only thing that I don't love about these stickers, and I think I've probably told you guys before, I don't have like a fancy schmancy printer. I mean, my printer is like probably eight or nine years old and I don't change any of the settings. I just print however it comes out. So one of the things that I don't like about this kit is that there's no thin washi. I mean, there's these little thin stickers, but that's not thin washi. And there is two sets of thick washi, so that is nice, but I don't really know that I need two sets of thick washi. Really what I needed was the thick, the header and then the thin washi to cover up this. So what I did is I pulled, um, this is just an old planner cake kit that I had from last Christmas, and it's kit 98 and it's add-on AD. So I'm pretty sure that one of these, like this one probably will go well or even this one. So I'll use one of those to cover this washi up down here. So let's get to it. I have pulled out my pages because I do think that they're easier to work on. And that is definitely one of the things that I love about the binder is being able to take the pages out when I need to. So let's Go ahead and lay this down, if I can get it straight. As far as what kind of sticker paper I use, um, I don't have a lot of options here, and I tried to order some paper from Amazon, and the whatever, I can't remember which kind of paper it was, but they wouldn't ship to Alaska. So I just use, I'll actually pull it out for you. It's right here. I just use this full set of, um, right here, the full sheet labels, eight and a half by 11. It comes with 25 in it and they're from Avery. And I can't remember exactly how much I paid for this, but it was probably, I wanna say maybe $17 and I got, I don't think it was $20 and I got that from, I don't know if it's Office Max, Office Depot, whatever the heck it is. It seems like it changed its name recently. Um, so that's what I use. I do want to get like a larger kit. I think like online shipping labels maybe. Um, they have like, a, not a larger kit, but I guess just a larger pack would be the more appropriate term. I'm not going to use these. I do not really like to use those in my monthly spreads. I To me, it just looks a little too cluttered. I was going to try to give it a go, but it's not going to happen. So anyways, if I find some on Amazon that I actually can get to ship to me, I will definitely go ahead and let you guys know. Okay, so our paydays, are, next thing I'm gonna do is mark paydays. They have these little payday flags right here. It's gonna be a little different because 
Um, if you guys watched my plan with me, that was the big news. My husband is changing jobs. So this is going to be the last payday from his current job. It's not even going to be a full payday, which is a ginormous bummer because it's Christmas, you know? So I don't actually know when his next payday will be from his new job. I know he starts this day. And from the calendar that I looked at, it looks like the pay period ends here. Or maybe it's here. No. I don't know where the pay period ends. But regardless, I don't know when paydays are going to be. So I'm not going to mark paydays for his new job until I know exactly what they are. But I can tell you that we will have a payday on this Friday, which would be the 30th, I guess. And then we will have another payday. Probably, I'm assuming it, it will either be this day or the 30th. But we'll just go ahead and mark it here. And then usually this payday is for the following month. So we'll just see how that goes. I know we will have a payday in here somewhere. I'm hoping it will be this day, but I don't know for sure. So I'm not going to mark that until I have that all figured out. Let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do. Actually, no. Let's use this to cover up. Let's see how this works right here. So we have this one. I'm just going to use my little Fiskars blade thing right here to trim this. I still have not found my cover. It's really stressing me out because this is like not really a very safe tool to just have out in the open like this. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know where it could have went. Okay, so there's that. And then I will put this sticker right here. Thankfully, I do not have like little kids that are going to come down and get into my stuff. That is definitely... If I did, I would just throw it away and buy a new one because that would not be safe at all. Okay, so those are the January days that are covered up. Now let me go ahead and add my thin washi in here. I think I'm going to use this one right here. So I do have affiliate links down below to all of the Erin Condren products that I'm using today. Actually, I don't really like this one very much once it's up against that. And I also have a referral link. If you are new to Erin Condren, do you want to try it out? You can go ahead and use my referral link and you will be emailed a $10 off coupon on your first order. And then I also will get a referral bonus, which is nice. I do like to do giveaways on my channel. So those referral bonuses will help me to do more giveaways in the future. Look, I think I had this problem before. That's extremely annoying. So let's just cover that up. So some people have been using my affiliate links. I just checked my um, share a sale today and I was like, oh, good. Th so thank you to whoever is um, has placed orders using my affiliate links. I was so excited when I saw that. And it really does help support my channel. So thank you for that. I am almost at a year that I've had my channel. So I'm super excited about all of the support that you guys have given me. I'm going to give it one last little go and see if I can hit my 1,000 subscribers by the year mark. And if I do, I will have a big, giant giveaway that will be super exciting. So we'll see. So share my channel with your friends, whoever you want to share it with. I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, let's see what we are going to do now. So I did use this just like a printable calendar to fill out December because there's just a lot of stuff going on. So I kind of needed like a rough draft to look at to make sure that I can get everything 
in here that needs needs to be here. So this day is Benjamin's birthday. He will be 18. I can't believe it. Of course, he is... I actually need to look at the schedule. I'm not sure if he'll have a home game that day or if he will be traveling for his birthday. So I'll have to ask him, but... All right, so there's that. I might want to use some of these stickers over here to kind of try and cover up this green since it's... Actually, I think I might be able to use all of them. Let's see how that would look. This green doesn't really look very good with this kit, I don't think. I mean, it's not terrible, but... Oh, look at this one. It's all in one piece. But it's definitely not my favorite. Actually, it's not terrible. Okay, let's see if I can get this up. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so there is that. And then there are these header stickers that I can use over here if I want to. So maybe I'll do a to watch. And I could use that to like mark what movies we want to see this month or something like that. Mm. I don't want to do like the to do or the goals or anything because I do use that in my, in the notes pages that like the dashboard pages. So there's the to organize. Maybe to read. I really, really, really want to start reading again. Actually, no, I'm not, because that is way up here. So let's do... I don't know. I'll wait. I'm either going to do this. Let's just do this month. So I am downstairs in my studio, but you still might be able to hear my dogs barking right now. I'm not actually sure why they're barking. It's like 10 p.m. on Saturday night. Like, they should not be barking. Okay, there's that. I actually really like that. So what else? I think we can just go ahead and start putting in all of the rest of the things, like the events that we have going on. So, I don't really feel like there are very many actual appointment labels, so I might have to just, let's see. This is what happens when I use a new kit. It just kind of throws me off a little bit if it's not something that I have used before. I think I'll just go ahead and use some of these appointment label stickers that are on this planner cake kit, which is 98D. I mean, color wise, they'll be just fine. So I think that's what I'll do. Okay, so we have Caroline at the Pioneer Home. The, the Pioneer Home is actually where Michaela works. So that is kind of exciting. Um, so this is through our homeschool group. And it would just be fun because Michaela would, she wouldn't be there quite yet, but when the, um, Carolina is scheduled, but she would be able to go a little bit early and then that would be fun for her to have all of her residents meet Liberty. 
And then we have a craft carnival. This is something that my kids have done for years. Um, Michaela was the first one that did it. And it is through our homeschool group. It's actually through um, the leadership team puts it on. And Michaela was in leadership team when she was in school, you know, being homeschooled. And then Benjamin started and then now um, Liberty is doing it. So it's pretty exciting. And basically what they do is it's a two hour block of time where parents in our homeschool group can go ahead and drop their kids off and they make like ornaments and just different Christmas crafts. And then the parents can use that time to go shopping or whatever it is that they want to do. So that's pretty fun. All right, let's use one of these right here. So this is going to be, let's see how much room this takes up. The full thing. And it covers up the seven. Well, we could do that. And then I could go ahead and use this little seven right here. I don't think that is a bad idea. Cute. So on the seventh, we have two different things going on. I'm just going to write... Um, there is North Pole Fireworks, and I'm not sure what time that is. So they have like a big, um, there'll be like a craft bazaar in one of our like strip malls, and they'll be like, they'll crown Mr. and Mrs. North Pole, maybe they call it. I'm not sure exactly what they call it. But then there's also fireworks and just a bunch of other stuff. So I am looking forward to fireworks on that day. And then there's also um, Christmas party or holiday party, I guess, for the clinic that I work for. You know, extremely PRN, but they still invited me to the holiday party and I'm excited about that because it's a place I've never been before. We're going to go to this place called um, like Expressions in Glass or whatever and we're going to make some um, like icicles out of, I don't know, some icicles. So I'll show you guys that. So this is Liberty's Orthodontist Appointment. The exciting thing about this is it might be the last one and then they will schedule her de debondment or whatever it's called. So she's super excited about that. This next thing I want to mark will be, let's use this red one. This is at a local toy store. They're going to have Santa, and but which is good. But the really exciting thing is they're going to have um, reindeer outside with elves. So I thought that would be fun. We could definitely get some cute pictures of Lucas and Liberty. Michaela, well, actually, Michaela doesn't go to work until 2.45, so she might be able to go with us if we go right at 1. So that'll be fun. Okay, the next thing we have is this day right here, and I'm going to actually use this big sticker just like I did right here because I kind of liked the way that that looks, actually. Okay, and that one would be the 17th. This is the stakeholders banquet um, for, oops, this is the FFA stakeholder banquet. There's that. All right, so I'm going to use this little airplane and then I will put it on, if I can figure out how it goes, I think like that. I will put it right here. I don't have any details for this yet, but 
This, I believe, will be the day that Katie flies home. Maybe this day. We just need to see how it works out. I think her last final is one of these days, but she needs to have time to pack and, you know, we have to look at airfare prices and just figure out when the best day for her to come home will be. And then Benjamin will fly home this day. So I am super duper excited to have my kids all here. Let's see, what do I want to use to mark that? Mm. So I'm going to have to use one of these. Let's use this big one. Okay, there's his. And then I'll use the second little plane right here for him. Um, I think we are pretty much nearing the end of what I need to mark for right now. There is a skate with Santa this day, but I don't really think that we will do that. And I'm not going to mark in like FFA and stuff like that because I know that that will be on Mondays and I don't need to mark in like Liberty School. Stuff like that is not really necessary. So let's fill in a couple of these just fun full boxes right here. Let's go ahead and just stick this one here. And then I will still put the 18 or the eighth on there. This kit is so pretty. Okay, there's that. I do have one other thing that I was thinking. I actually forgot that I had this, but this is the Happy Planner Christmas Joy Book, and there is such fun stuff in here. I was thinking I might be able to put a, f oh, actually, I remembered something that I forgot to mark. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put this nutcracker. We usually go to the nutcracker. Um, I take the girls usually, but the only one that would, I can't get this off. The only one that would probably be able to go would be Liberty because of Michaela's work schedule. Maybe, maybe I'm going to put a nutcracker. So let me put this little guy right here. So I don't forget because the Nutcracker is actually this weekend right here. So let's put him there and then hopefully I, ooh, there was just a bug that really freaked me out. Sorry about that a little flying like moth. I don't know where it came from. Okay, I'm going to use this home for the holidays right here. I really, really, really like the clear stickers like that. I think they look super fun. I'm looking for one to see if I can find one that says like Merry Christmas or whatever. And I did. I did find a freaking giant one. Like this one says Happy Christmas, but I mean, good God, that takes up like... Well, I'd have to cut it in half, but I guess it could work. And it could take up like that open section right there, but that's kind of large. So let's see. This one is smaller. Let's see what this looks like. It says Happy Christmas, which is kind of weird to me, but I guess it'll work. Mm, not terrible. Um... I use this family one right here. Oh, this one was cute. This little Merry Christmas with a bike. That's cute too. So there's this little 
Christmas caroling sticker right here. I'm just going to go ahead and put that right here along the bottom. That's cute. And then I think I'll take this one that says the magic of Christmas and just go ahead and put this one kind of right here. All right, I think that's gonna be it for now, you guys. I have plenty of room to go ahead and add things as they come up. Like I know the kids actually have a dentist appointment this day, but since Benjamin's flying home this day, I need to see if I can reschedule it, which I really need to try and call about that on Monday because we basically have Christmas week and then until I think Benjamin's gonna leave on the second or the third, somewhere in there. So, this gives me a good framework to be able to go in and add events as they come up. So if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please do hit that red subscribe button if you like this kind of content. Please give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and drop me a comment. Let me know how your December is looking. Are you guys crazy? Busy? Do you just kind of take a more relaxed month? How does it work for you guys? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good night. Bye.